Right, then. Let's start ya off nice and easy with three tasks what'll help ya get used to life air in Limsa. Firstly, if ya EAD down a floor then point your nose to the west, ya'll get an Eiffel O the great glowing crystal in the middle of the courtyard. That's an etherite device what can move ya from one place to another in the blink of an eye. Ain't no swifter way to travel providin there's an etherite where ya want to go, oh course. Abia chat with, the yellow jacket on guard down there and ya'll be treated to a lecture on the workings of the device. For ya do that, though, remember to touch the thing. Strange as it sounds, it won't work till you Abe. Second on the list is the marketplace. Y'all find weapons and armor and all your vent urine bits and pieces for sale in the district what lies beyond the etherite. Don't go throwing your gill around just yet, though, or y'all get fleeced quicker and ya can say, why is me coin purse so light? Abe a word with swoosh blade, instead. He's the EAD of the Merchants League, by the way. Give I'm this old octant, and he'll treat ya well. For the last Omi helpful ints, I suggest ya meet some fellow spell slingers at the Arcanist's Guild. I guarantee ya'll learn a few new tricks for your tome if ya decide to join their crew. Miri at the front desk is the one to get ya started. Got all that, lass. See into them three tasks will take ya on a little jaunt around the city, and help ya work out where everything is. Now, I best be getting on. Run along, eh. Bugger it. There I go, sending ya off without telling ya summit crucial. That bloody calamity's made a right mess o me memory, I swear. Well, that or the ale. Enter road. While you're out, if you happen to pass any poor sides what look like they might need your help, consider giving their tail oh whoa a listen, eh. Sounds like a chore, I admit, but ya never know what interest and opportunities could be lurking out there, just waiting for ya to stumble on em. For example, Nine Eye over yonder's been casting glances at ya since ya waltzed in. Why not lend an ear and see what she has to say? I, you're like to find yourself running odd errands in the beginning, but once ya build a reputation as a woman folk can trust, the jobs'll get harder and the rewards more generous. If ya be the time, I'd also seek the advice of the smith here in the wench. The lads as bear that title obby some fine advice for them what are just starting out in the profession. And that, my girl, is how ya go about becoming a legend among venturers. Well, would you look at this a shiny, new adventurer. Listen close, lass, I've some information that might just help put you on the map here in Limsa. I was passing through Bulwark Hall below not long ago, and saw a bunch of herbs just scattered about on the ground. Now, I'm not entirely certain, but I think they might have been the black market wares known as dream flowers. Limsa Lomansa is a busy port, and not all the merchants that blow in across the strait are above board, if you know what I mean. How the plants end up in the mizzen mist? Who knows might be even a deal gone bad. The important thing is you make a name for yourself by handing them in. Speak to Skan Real, and she'll get you down to the first floor. Then all you have to do is pick up the herbs, and take them to Old Skyfe at the Octant. Being a worldly captain, he knows a thing or two about such shady goods. You wish to visit Bulwark Hall below? The Crow's Lift is ready when you are. You have some herbs you wish me to examine?
Yes. As you suspected, these are the highly illegal blooms known as dream flowers. They are the prime ingredient in the creation of Somnus a substance whose fragrance is said to lull the sniffer's mind into the sleep of death. Forgive me, I could not resist the jest. These herbs are not more than alphic lavender, a common enough export from Limsalam and Sa. In fact, these probably spilled from crates that were loaded onto my very own ship. I think someone has been having a bit of fun with you, miss. But not to worry. You've learned a few things, and made a new acquaintance. Well met. Another novice adventurer. I, Baderan has sent more than a few of your kind this way of late. I am Sundheimel, one of the Yellow Jackets tasked with keeping the peace in the city. It is also my charge to provide guidance in the use of this device. Fear not, I shall be brief. Etherites are crystalline structures that tap into ethereal energies. They are primarily used as a means to travel swiftly from one place to another. Return and teleport the most common transportation spells make direct use of the etherites and their connection to the flow of ether. And as these devices are found in almost every corner of Eorzea, any adventurer worthy of the name will wish to seek out and attune herself to each one. Once you have expanded your horizons beyond the walls of the city, you will soon find yourself performing the act of attunement as a matter of course. There is, however, no need for unseemly haste. The etherites found in and around the city will be sufficient for the present, I assure you. Should you wish to learn more about etherites or transportation magic, I will be here to answer your questions. Fine evening to you, madam. Welcome to the most replete marketplace in the grand realm of Eorzea, where every shelf groans under the weight of wonders born from all four corners of the world. Pray browse the stalls until your eyeballs ache from ogling the overabundance of unbelievable bargains. Now, as much as I would love to elaborate upon the unrivaled quality of our merchandise, I must tend to some cargo but recently arrived at the docks. Hmm. You bear a gift from Vaderan? Whatever could it ah? Uh, my Aachen. By the navigator. I must have left it behind in the wench along with a week's pay and several bells worth of intoxicated memories. I am most grateful to have it back. This tool is a keepsake from my days as a ship captain, you see. Needless to say, your good deed must be repaid, and what better recompense than the wisdom of a master merchant. If it is simple and sturdy adventuring equipment you seek, you need look no further than the east and west arms of Hawker's Alley. Lest you doubt, each gill you invest in arms and armor will be money well spent. Adventuring is, after all, a dangerous profession by its very nature. It goes without saying that Hawker's Alley boasts stalls specializing in the tools of every martial discipline imaginable. And within but a few steps are bazaars and apothecaries that will most amply supply all your potion and perishable needs. Our keen-eyed agents procure a frankly befuddling range of wares during their sojourns to distant shores, so it pays to become familiar with the type and price of the goods offered by each stall. Such knowledge will serve you well if your purse is light or your time is short. Ah, but verbal instruction of this kind will only profit you so much. Experience has ever been the surest teacher if not the kindest. I invite you to explore the markets for yourself.
Ho there, adventurer. Curious about the Marauder's Guild, are yet? Any axe worth swinging needs two hands on the haft, and has a blade what can make short work of a galley's mast. That's the kind of weapon our members train to use with deceptive swiftness and all too predictable force. Are ye interested in hearing more, lass? Then why don't I give ye the short version of the guild's found in history, and we can go from there. It all started with ships. Yesy. What be ye ships got to do with axes, ye ask? Well, building them would be pretty bloody difficult without a sturdy tool to lop down trees for timber. And since only the navigator herself knows when a ship will run afoul of a storm or worse, it makes sense for the cruise carpenter to carry an axe on board. Aye, it all started with shipbuilding and ship repair. What? Am I boring yet? Humph. As I was saying, any tool on a ship can become a weapon, and the axe was perfect for hooking yourself over the rail of an enemy vessel, letting loose in a whirl o' steel, and generally laying waste to all about yet. As more seafarers took up the axe as their weapon o' choice, so did the bloody art o' the marauder begin to take shape specially among pirates, where strength and skill decided your place in the world. With an eye to assembling crews o' battle-ready raiders, the pirates started teaching the proper way to wield a chop and blade to their new recruits. And that's how the marauder's guild first came to be. But once the Galadion Accord was signed to unite the Maelstrom and the pirates against Limsa's enemies, the whole game changed. The Accord itself was a dismal failure, of course, but the Marauder's Guild was never the same it was taken over, restructured, and purged of its pirate elements. It had been reborn as an institution dedicated to naught but the teaching of Axe Fiden. The members of this new Marauder's Guild weren't no greed-driven cutthroats, neither they were warriors what sought to use their martial prowess for the good of society. If master and the axe is your heart's desire, then you'll find no better arena in which to practice your swings. Think it over, then let me know if you fancy joining our ranks. I've a feeling I'll be seeing more oh yeah soon, lass. Yabi yeah, decided to swing an axe with the marauders, then. All right, then. All that needs doing now is to speak with the axe master himself. Sounds simple. I've seen folks link out the door rather than put themselves in the patho that unnerving glare. That's the bloke right there in the middle of the room. Wernzo ends his name. Put some steel in your spine and look him straight in the eye when you talk to him, lass. Good fortune to yet. I am Wernzo N. Axe Master they call me. Not the most imaginative of titles, I agree, but one should not underestimate the value of directness. I welcome your interest in our guild. The art of the Marauder is used to rend, to cleave, and to destroy. It is not our way to simply outfight our adversaries, we seek to overwhelm them. A Marauder must be the most powerful and enduring presence on the battlefield, we must account for the most enemies defeated. Our role in combat is that of a steel whirlwind, dealing death and destruction without equal. No doubt the question has already been put to you by Blaudotai, but once more shall I challenge your commitment, are you prepared for the bloody carnage that awaits an initiate of the Marauder's Guild? Very well. Your name? Attend me well, then, Mama. Hold fast to this moment of dedication. The path of the Marauder is a jagged and perilous one the blood that spills at your feet will oft times be your own. You stand now as a student of the axe let us waste no time in testing the edge of your chosen weapon. You shall wade straightway into combat as befits a novice of our discipline. Go forth and slay the bleeding, scurrying, crawling pests that plague the outskirts of Limsa Lamansa. Lost lambs, wharf rats, and little ladybugs shall be your piteous adversaries this day. Return to me once three of each creature have fallen to your blade.
Ah, there you are, mama. Enjoy your jaunt round the city, did ya? If you mean to base yourself in Limsalam and Sa, that won't be the last time you'll visit them three places. And now you've got some idea of what's where, you can start exploring the rest of the town. Yavi'i shown a good ear for listening, lass. Stick with old Baderin, and yell go far.
you are returned to me a different woman. Already your face shows a harder cast, a realization echo the slaughter of which you are capable. But there is much training to be done before you will wield the axe to its fullest potential. Lean well your lessons, build your strength, and make of each swing an instinctive act. You shall have this hunting log to aid you in that endeavor. Its pages are marked with opponents suitable for honing your skills. There are, of course, myriad methods by which you might improve your techniques, but when the way forward is not readily apparent, the log provides a reliable source of challenges. Every blow of your weapon will clear another step towards the mastery of the Marauder Way. Implacable, relentless, such must be your momentum on both the practice grounds and the battlefield, 